On your way then, and keep an eye out for tea. Junk thrown over the side of the ship in distress. Looks like the Minuteman has been fishing some up. Look at all that flotsam and jetsam. Must be stuff still floating around since the Boston Tea Party a while back. Hey there. I'm just taking a minute to write a letter to Mother. I'm a Minuteman. I'm supposed to fight British redcoats and I'd be off like a shot. But like many Minutemen, I have no ammunition to shoot. Those blasted redcoats took most of our ammunition. Musket balls are made of lead, and lead is heavily taxed by the British, so there isn't much around. Oh yes, we depend on England for most of our supplies, and we'd be in a bad way without their imported goods. I'm writing a letter to my dear mother on this piece of parchment. I'd rather be off fighting, but without musket balls, a letter is my only pastime. Well, if I'm not fighting, I'm sitting here writing. But you know, if you scavenged up some lead musket balls for me, I'd drop this old letter in a second. Good luck. <laughs> the lead needed for ammunition is near impossible to find these days. We soldiers scavenge it from pipes, monuments, plates, you name it. That British warship is blockading our harbor. Those Brits are preventing friendly countries like France from sending us fresh supplies. Well, first there was the Boston Tea Party, and now a full revolutionary war is brewing. We colonists will win or die trying. We're outnumbered, but we fight cleverly, Indian style. We don't stand in silly straight lines like those Brits. I just turned 15. You could say I'm just a rebellious youth. Well, not really. But because the colonial army is so outnumbered, any man or boy old enough to aim a musket can join. My musket fires balls of lead, but lead is so scarce that we have orders not to shoot the redcoats till we see the whites of their eyes. In one New Hampshire battle, the Minutemen only had about 15 lead musket balls each. They had to make every shot count. We caught a box fish! Actually, it looks like an old tea crate from the tea party. Cool! A hot forage is perfect for melting metals, so they can be bent or poured into new shapes. Back to Manhattan, New York! Great kings of England! It's honest to goodness tea! If a bit waterlogged. Come on, lads! It's tea time! Splendacious! It's a piece of the Parma note! George was quite a lead foot. When we spoke of defeating King George, uh, that's not exactly what we meant. You remind me that finding parchment will be no small feat. Farewell. Please re- Some 
Ah, uh, that's a nice chunk of lead, but it's much too big to use as a musket ball. Superific idea! Making ammo out of the lead statue. You're a high caliber crime fighter. Yow! Thanks for the musket balls. Now I have my shot at joining the Continental Army. Long live the American colonies! <laughs> hmm, no luck. I think Boston Harbor is all fished out. Back to Manhattan, New York! Parchment! You deserve volumes of praise. Now I can rewrite crucial parts of the Declaration of Independence. I've written out all the important points, but these paragraphs still need arranging. I'll hurry them over to the Pennsylvania Courthouse, where the document can be completed. See you in the city of brotherly love! Part of the Carmen note. The suspect schemes are going to pieces. Splendation! Let's catch up with Jefferson in Philadelphia. How good to see you again. You're just in time. Ben Franklin is just now posting my paragraphs up for review and arrangement. Well, uh, my outline presents our ideas in an organized fashion. It should help us arrange Jefferson's paragraphs into a sensational declaration. Yes, indeed. So just match up my paragraphs on the left with Franklin's outline on the right. Good luck. Well done! Jefferson's paragraphs match our outline perfectly. We have a most convincing declaration on our hands. Well done! You've helped organize this document into a memorable declaration of independence. Now, uh... Let's get those delegates signing before they lose their nerve, hmm? Superific! You reconstructed the Declaration of Independence. Now let's track down our thief. 